Hey guys, it's Pope. I'm finally back in Atlanta, back home, back in my routine, getting some rest again, <laughs> some R&R &R from all of the traveling and madness, getting geared up for the Arnold in just a few short weeks. Today in training, I have a big squat workout. I have moved my snatch and clean and jerk heavy days into the same workout now, so I did both of those yesterday. First time doing them in the same workout was a little bit rough on the clean and jerk. My pole was feeling much more tired than as if I was only working on the clean and jerk like I have been, but we're inside of that four week mark, almost three weeks now before the meet, so we need to combine them and work on that, doing them together. I hit a huge snatch yesterday at 88. It was very solid and a no miss snatch workout. <laughs> Feeling really confident in heavy snatches right now. I actually tried the 88 earlier in the week while I was in Colorado, but I was just tired that day and I missed it. And I was pretty freaking grumpy that I missed it because I had not walked away from a weight on a miss the entire training cycle. Like every top weight I attempted, I've made. Even if I missed it like once, I came back and made it again. And I had to call it on 88 the other day. And that was the first time that I walked away from a weight without a make. And I was very unhappy about that. Thus, I had my quote unquote snatching bitch face as I dubbed it in my Instagram caption during this 88 snatch because I was not going to miss it. And I was still mad about missing it the other day. But anyway, smoked it. So I'm feeling really good about my snatch. Clean and jerk, I worked up to 100, which is still a very strong number for me to be hitting right now with the amount of volume I've been doing and the fatigue from traveling and 10 snatches that were heavy before I moved on to clean and jerk. Hopefully next week clean and jerk feels a bit stronger after the snatch, but still taking away that 100 feeling very strong as a positive and just knowing that's all I had yesterday and so I didn't attempt anymore. Today I'm gonna to try a big set of three on the back squat and I've got some accessory pulls and stuff to do. And we are continuing to work on putting the gym together. It's coming along, looking super cool. Have new windows, insulation, new walls, really cool wooded like accent wall. We've got electricity, lights, new outlets. It's going to be freaking rad. I really can't wait until it's done. Had some coffee, ready to lift.
Well, that was crazy exciting. 300 pounds for a triple. 137 kilos is a new double PR and triple PR. Very, very happy. I have not even hit that near a single in so long. My PR single is 142 kilos. I think that's 308 or maybe 312. 12, I think 312 pounds, maybe. I don't know. 142 kilos is my best single, and that was in USAPL Powerlifting Nationals in 2016. So that's the last time I hit anywhere near that weight for a single, and I have torn my other hip labrum since I competed in that national meet. So I'm working with two unrepaired labrum tears, one in each hip. Unrepaired means didn't have surgery. I do have one video I've made with the very basic rehab I did as soon as I tore it when I was working with Quinn. You know, people ask me all the time, anytime I bring it up, and I'm gonna refer you to that video if you need some help. This is where you should start. And you should also contact Quinn if you're on the West Coast, or you need a remote physical therapist, or contact Lauren that I work with here in Atlanta. Both of them have helped me tremendously come back from the labrum tears because I refused to have the surgery. I have had five ankle surgeries during my gymnastics career and was not interested in being cut open again. So I let them heal on their own and just did the rehab and fought through the pain until the inflammation went down and then I got back in business both times. It literally took nine months probably both times to get past the super painful period and about a year to be completely pain free both times. Maybe that's not what you want to hear but that's the truth. You can come back, cause I did. Anyways, back to today. 300 pounds for a three! I'm so happy. Like, ecstatic. I didn't know if I would ever reach new back squat PRs again, so this is huge. And I feel really good about it, and I'm seeing this new leg strength development improve my classic lifts of the Snatch and Clean and Jerk too. All in all, it's really exciting stuff, and I'm getting really pumped to get back on the platform again. Also had some accessory work to do today. Snatch push press, I did at 68, and I did some snatch pull to the hip, or snatch deadlift, at 100 kilos, and those were moving really fast. So all of this is really encouraging progress, and I'm really proud of myself. Things are going great. Pretty cool, Universal is actually flying down a film crew to come document my training at my house for the Arnold since they're doing the Road to the Arnold series. I'm going to be training in the new gym. This is the dungeon gym. This isn't the real gym. This is temporary. I'm going to be training in the new gym next week a little bit, even though it's not totally done yet. I'm going to try to sneak one platform in for now while they're here and hopefully make some super cool video content with them. Kind of showcase my, my new spot planning to have some people come visit and make some super cool videos in the new gym so lots of fun stuff coming hope you guys liked this video hanging out with me during my squat workout if you did give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you like seeing more of just snatch clean jerk on my heavy days i try to mix it up a lot but let me know what your favorite is i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe bye